Hello, in this Visual Basic video, I am going to show you the combo box. So let's just dive right in. The combo box is you know, sort of like a drop down, but it's an editable drop down. So let's just run it, see what we get. And you know, that's pretty cool. We've got nothing in there, so let's actually add something. So if we go to this arrow, click edit items, and in here, I'm just gonna say put some car manufacturers. Mercedes and Toyota. Okay, that's all pretty cool. Now let's run it, see what we get. Click it, we get you know some items. And you know, we can. I'm actually going to make it a little bit bigger just so it's just easy to see the item when we select it. And we can, you know, let's say so like BMW. And he allows us, you know, to type in it as well. So you can have some options. So you got, if we go to properties, you know, you got all this sort of default properties. You can see their items, all that stuff. In the code, in code, for example, if we go to toolbox, what I'm going to do is actually get one of the items. I'm going to add a button, make it a little bigger. I'm going to add a label. I'm not going to bother with positioning or naming them. If I double click that, so when the button is clicked, oh yeah, there it is. Okay, so when the button is clicked, we are going to do dim text as string. And what we're going to say is text equals, it's going to equal the combo box dot selected item, so whatever item is selected to string and we're gonna assign that to the label so we can say label one dot text equals text like so let's run it see what we get so if I select Toyota click that it goes into that like Friday future click that it goes into there so that's it for the combo box it's basically a drop down that has a built-in you know text edit feature as well nothing more to it than that Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.